Okay, good morning everyone. So it is our second day here in Cambodia and today we are going to the famous temple Angkor Wat which is a Hindu and uh, Buddhist temple. So I guess it's a fusion of both and it's actually considered a part of one of the seven wonders of the world so we're gonna go check that out today apparently it's super massive and you can spend a whole day there so we'll see how far we can get in this heat um because it's been roughly like 35 degrees celsius every day so we might die so and i'm gonna wear something long i'm gonna be covered today because in the temple areas from my experience and what I've learned, you have to be covered. So uh, today I'm gonna actually be covered. So I will see you guys in a bit. This is the tuck tuck I was talking about. Time to tuck, tuck in. Should I just keep chasing payments, even if it is nowhere, or would it be away? Guys, we're here. You have no idea how excited I am. I've been wanting to see the, this temple specifically. Like you see it online everywhere. When you think of Cambo Cambodia, you think of Angkor Wat, like this is it. So I'm so excited. Okay, so obviously I've said for like the sixth time that I'm like already so excited about this, but it reminds me the last time I got this excited to see a tourist attraction or wonder of the world was when I went to Egypt to see the pyramids. It was just the most amazing experience like out of this world and I remember feeling like I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I can't believe I'm actually seeing these in front of me and I feel like I'm reliving that experience all over again with this. This is bigger than the temples we saw in Bali. Which makes sense because there's more landmass in Cambodia than obviously on an island. But it's so stunning. <laughs> Queen. This is the monkey leader Hanuman and he is one of the chief characters of the Hindu poem Ramayana. <laughs> In traditional Indian mythology, these women were called asparas and these asparas were considered entertainers for the men and gods of these temples. Or it's a phoenix, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Turkey lobster? I'm thinking turkey lobster. The views from every corner is so nice. Especially this one. Are you ready to 
This is just an example of some of the Sanskrit that we saw while we were going through the temple. The snakes behind the Buddha represent protection against natural causes while meditating. This is called Musi Landa, and this protection came in its form after his enlightenment.